thousand Though I may be now I'm before you
Leonard, you came to the show. Thank you for being here. All right, a long time ago I was going down uh, to Houston to play a gig and uh, I had my, my girlfriend, I was uh, with her and uh, the other guys in the band were in a different car going down there. Back in those days we, always, we were always looking for a place to stay so she said, well when we get down there my friend Eve is going to let us stay at her house. And I said, wow, that's really cool. I was, you know, then back in those days, that was like gold to have a good place to stay. And she said, yeah, he, she, she dates a musician too. He's, he's a country singer. His name is Dale Watson. So the next morning I woke up and they were frying eggs, and, I mean, frying bacon and eggs. There's a young Dale Wassel with no shirt on, playing a Gretsch guitar. And, uh, I got to see Dale play back then uh, at, uh, at his house gig, at the Swinging Doors in Pasadena, Texas. And I, I tell you what, I was startled at how good he was. Well, of course, he, he does the kind of country music that I love and grew up on. And so I just I just loved it, but man, he was great back then. So to see him just get better and better and better is kind of mind blowing. Until now, he's one of the best country singers of all time, in my opinion. Singer, songwriter, guitar player of all time. So let's give it up big time for my dear friend Dale Watson. That's a tough act to follow. He's a dear friend of mine now. And I haven't known him as long as I've known Dale, but I tell you what, I love him every bit as much. He's a wonderful guy and one of the most fabulous entertainers and wild men in the world. Let's hear it for Jason D. Williams. And uh, the drummer with Jason D. Williams tonight was uh, was back here. He, Jason borrowed our drummer, and I want you to give it up right now for Jonathan Jeter on the drums. From Chanty, Greenville, Texas. Not that much applause for Greenville, Texas. I don't know, sometimes you play there like more than five people. Sometimes, if they're serving dinner. And then this guy over here. He's been with me for 35 long years. Well, that's a long time. Wolf Blank, Wolf Brain Chili, that's, remember, that's too long. Anyway, I gotta tell you a story about, well, let me, let me introduce it first. All the way from exciting Deer Park, Texas, Nature Boy, Chimbo. going to Houston. I got, a, I got a lot of Houston stories tonight. On the way down to Houston, uh, well, we went down to Houston, we played a gig, and yeah, I had a different bass player for the first few years, and we played this gig in Houston, and uh, it was okay, you know, whatever, it was a fun night, you know, and the, the show was over, and I was wrapping up my cables, and uh, a guy was on stage talking to my bass player, and they were talking about bass. I wasn't paying attention, but anyway, there. My bass player said, "Here, try my bass. See if you like it." And and it was Jim Wallace, and he, he grabbed the bass and he started playing the bass line. I recognized it immediately. Twenty Flight Rock by Eddie Cochran. And 
mention, we just found out today that when Paul McCartney, before the Beatles, to, to get in the band with John Lennon, they were just kids, but they were playing teenagers. Paul McCartney played the song 20 Flight Rock by Hank. But anyway, I heard Jimbo playing that bass line, and I thought to myself, ooh, I gotta get this guy's number. So I did, and six months later, he was in the band. out that features a song, 20 Flight Rock by Eddie Cocker. We're going to let you know on this one, then. So, yeah, turn up that mic, give him a little slap back in there. Here we go, Eddie Cocker. Jimbo, we're going to practice our spelling on this song, so please help us with our spelling.
another guest coming to you. We're going to have somebody coming up here. I see him around. This is a little thing by Carl Perkins.
action. He's got his records for sale, and uh, I'm really glad to have him on this tour. We're having to follow a lot of great stuff, aren't we?
Nice to be tired of you, Mr. Uh, Jonathan Jeter. Anyway, nobody here looks tired. Anybody here tired? No! Let Mr. Jim Heath know that you want to hear some more real rock and roll. Yeah.